Good morning and happy Vlogmas day eight. It is super cold in the house because our heat officially went out. <laughs> We're waiting to hear back from the um, heating people, the repair people, and hopefully we can get somebody out today or this weekend to look at it. The good news is that it's only one unit that's out. We had the other unit replaced, um, but that unit controls the upper floors. And the unit that is out um, this time is the unit that controls the main floor and the basement. There she is on your blankies. You staying warm, Maggie? You staying all nice and comfy, cozy warm? Good girl. So here is day eight. Let's go ahead and open that. All right, today I got Hourglass Setting Powder. All right, on to our self-care elf one, and we're looking for day eight. All right, here is day eight. I'm curious, she's holding a turkey. I'm curious, what is this gonna say? Oh, this one's hard to, there we go, I got ah, Forgive yourself, <laughs> wow. Okay, so she burnt the turkey. <laughs> Forgive yourself. Yeah, this one, this one's harder than you think. I gotta warm up a little bit. Um, forgiving ourselves is a is is definitely a tough one. I think I think we all struggle with that sometimes. And we forget to give ourselves the same grace and same gift of forgiveness as we extend to other people. To forgive yourself, it's the best gift ever. The other thing I was thinking while we're on this like, you know, mushy stuff, I was thinking about traditions because traditions are super important to me. And um, like I said earlier, one of our traditions is doing this cookie baking thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and make the cookies today, whether we get to use them or not. But there is going to come a day when I'm not going to have some of the traditions that with my kids that I've had because life always changes. It's just the way that it is. You know, rivers don't stay the same. Bodies of water are constantly moving and God created it that way. So I think it's to tell us at least for me, and I love, I was raised on the water and fishing and boating, and uh, I have a great respect for nature and, and water in general. Um, but I always learned the lesson from water, from the rivers, from the lakes, from the oceans, that um, things never stay the same. They just don't. So traditions are super special. And most of the time we think and relate traditions to being special because of the way they make us feel. And they usually make us feel um, happy and we get to look back and remember people that we've lost or times that were super happy and special to us that we wanna try to recreate. Sometimes it's decorating the tree, sometimes it's having a Thanksgiving meal in the same home with the same people every year, or maybe you go Christmas caroling every year or whatever it is, those traditions, especially the ones that you have had for, you know, they're vintage traditions. <laughs> you know, they definitely um, mean a lot. Here's why they mean a lot. So traditions give us security. They evoke that feeling of something that doesn't change. Traditions typically don't change the root of them. For example, the kids and I have always decorated the tree together and we've always done it the day, the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday. It's something that we have only missed one year doing. Actually, I'm sorry, we missed two years doing because one year we had COVID. <laughs> but, and then the other year was um, the year that their dad and I uh, got divorced. It was around Christmas, Christmas time when we made that decision. And so that was a year that we did not decorate on Black Friday. So that was a rough year. But other than that, we have always, always 
held that tradition. And um, the, the feeling of security that we're able to feel knowing that every year, no matter what else is going on in our world, no matter what else is going on around us, we know that we have the tree decorating where we put on those uh, ornaments that they have made since they were children. We talk about Christmas's past. We talk about their, my, my kids never got to meet my mom, but they lived with my dad and they were extremely close to my dad. And they, my dad helped raise them. So it was like having another parent to them. Um, so it's really cool to decorate the tree. And then we talk about the ornaments that Paul Paul loved. And we talk about, you know, Paul Paul and, and all of his funny little things that he used to do around Christmas. The traditions are way more than a tradition. They are way more than that. And traditions are extremely important because they give us the sense of security and the sense of hope that carry us through year after year. And it, it is so important to remember that. Don't break your traditions. And if something happens to your traditions, if for some reason you're unable, like I know one day my traditions are gonna change, keep them alive somehow. I know that when the kids, when I'm not able to decorate the tree with the kids on Black Friday, Art and I are still gonna decorate the tree on Black Friday and we'll FaceTime the kids or we'll modify the tradition however we need to, but we'll always have it. And I know that my kids will carry it on as well. I know that. And they're always going to have that sense of security knowing that some things, even though life changes and really rough times come our way, I know carrying on traditions help us to navigate life's changes. Definitely keep those traditions going. Start new ones if you don't have many. Um, if you're young, definitely start those traditions now because I'm telling you, you're gonna cherish them. You're gonna cherish them more every single year. Alrighty, so the repair people should be here between now, which is 1230 and five o'clock today. Hopefully Art will be home by then so that he can deal with them and I don't have to. Um, he's gonna stop on his way home and get another space heater just to have like a, a little one. Uh, we have one, he's gonna get another one just to make sure that it's warm enough on this main floor throughout the night um, and into tomorrow and it's gonna be cold over the weekend. So we're just erring on the side of caution because we don't know when it'll actually get fixed. But let me show you how the cookies turned out. Look, they turned out perfect. I do an egg wash on the top. Um, the, I didn't do enough of an egg wash on that one. Can you see where I missed? Anyway, so I uh, went to the basement too earlier and I picked up, brought up, I've been meaning to do this, the chalk pens, because I need to, I have a chalkboard in the kitchen that I need to fancy up for the holidays. I brought up a candle because I have an idea for these. Not all of them, just some of them. So I have this and I have a cloche. I have a cloche that goes on it, but it's not tall. It's like a little teeny one. And I'm not a fan of the scalloped edge for Christmas. 
it's okay, I guess, but mm, I don't know. I'd be fine with it if this fit, but this does not fit. See, it sits like on top and that's gonna break. So what I'm gonna do, I don't know if this is gonna work out or not. I'm gonna turn it over and look, it was a clearance. It was a clearance. I think it was TJ Matt. Yes, it was. No home goods. Um, I'm gonna put this candle on top. I don't know if this is gonna work or not because the candle will cover that base. Let's see if this fits okay. All right, so it kind of fits, right? But I'm not done, I'm not done. So what I thought was to put a couple of these candles, or not candles, a couple of these bells, like around here. Um, just kind of scatter them about, you know? I actually am gonna be hanging some of these on wreaths uh, that I have some little wreaths about. So I'm gonna keep these, I'm not gonna use that, um, but I could use, I'm actually gonna make an angel out of a couple of these. And I think what I'm gonna do, Miss Debbie, Miss Debbie gave me this idea. So she said she when she sees these, she thinks of angels. So I do have a bead that will fit here, a wooden bead. And I have beautiful rib, lace, actually. I'm gonna use lace to make the wings. And I'm going to make little angels, hopefully this weekend, because Monday we need to ship off Art's mom's Christmas gift. So I want to, I always make her something and put it in uh, her Christmas package. So I want to, I want to make the angel for her, for her tree. But anyway, so I'm not going to use all of these bells in this little thing, but I wanted to use a couple because... This year I've been scattering like Santa's bells out about everywhere and in the entryway, I haven't done anything. There's the entryway table and then the space underneath, I haven't done anything there. And this is part of my plan to kind of zhuzh up that space. So I'm gonna put some bells around here and some more greenery and then I'm gonna place it out there and uh, I'll show you when I'm done. All right guys, so this is how it's looking. Let me get you closer to that. So all I did was put some lights around the base with those little greenery picks and some of the bells, called it a day. And then I kind of strung those fairy lights along here and up here and hid the battery pack in the boots. This is the Polar Express book. I just took the cover off of it. My kids have had this for at least, I don't know, maybe fit, hmm. I don't know, they've had it for years since they were little, since they were in elementary school. So it's it's not vintage, but it's old. I went and got some of those, some more of those little miss, like, you know, extra little pick things. I'm gonna stuff them in here to kind of disguise the lights a little bit. And we'll call it a day. You have to tell me what you think. I think maybe one more. This is hard to do while you're holding the phone. That's for sure. All right. What do you think? It's good enough for now, <laughs> for right now. So this is how it all looks together. So I've got Santa, Santa's bells. I, w I just wanted to tie the whole theme together and I didn't want to leave that empty. So it's all about believing in Santa, the magic of the bells, the magic of the reindeer. The Polar Express book fits in perfectly with the theme. And there you go. You'll have to remind me if I've shown you this or not. I do this every year. The elf with his little newspaper on the toilet <laughs> with that saying from, um, what is that movie from? Oh, Christmas Vacation, gosh, my mind. And then down here, I just have that. I make my signs with the Cricut. Um, and then I made this little sign to go with this little sweater. And then I have the Grinch <laughs> right here, getting Grinchy or feeling Grinchy, so. That's that. And then, and this is the guest bathroom off the entryway downstairs. Um, and I just have 
my little Merry Christmas sign. I've had that for years. I don't remember where I got it. I made the trees from just bottle brush trees from the Dollar Tree and old um, thread spoons, old spoons, spools, old spools. And then a friend gave me these mice. It's a set of three, but I, I don't know whether they're vintage or not. So I highly doubt it, but they're cute. Anyway, I'm gonna sit down. Hey, the last thing is um, I just discovered somebody and I can't believe I'm just now discovering this YouTube person. Uh, let me spin you around. So earlier when I filmed this little clip, I actually deleted the footage. So I had to go back and get a little clip again and finish my thought to you guys. <laughs> but this is little Cahaba Junkins channel. And I cannot remember her name, but that's the name of her channel. I'll link it below. And this is her cozy Christmas home tour video. Um, again, I'll just link that particular, this particular video in my description box um, because she's just amazing. She's giving me so much inspiration. Now, of course, I do get inspiration from Susan at the old so-and-so. Susan has been like my go-to person for um, vintage decor and layering. Um, Uniquely Vintage You also is really good at layering vintage pieces and um so she's also another one that I get a lot of inspiration from I'll go ahead and link her channel as well Susan I've linked a million times I'll go ahead and link it because I'm messing mess mentioning her <laughs> I'm mentioning her so I'm going to list her channel as well but these are the ladies that I look to for inspiration for true vintage like legitimately like it's almost like that's all they do <laughs> is vintage. So, um, Susan also throws in a little bit of primitive. Um, and I guess from time to time, some of the things that she decorates or how she decorates has a little bit of um, farmhouse thrown into it. But for the most part, it's, it's vintage and vintage primitive. And uh, Little Cahaba Junkin is also very, very vintagey like more vintagey than anything else. And she's new to me, so I still need to get a feel for, you know, if she throws anything else in there. But if you love vintage, check out these channels. They're really good. They give me inspiration. I definitely want to try to make some changes in the in the coming year for, for my decor. That's it. I've been going all day and I'm exhausted already. And um, anyway, I have not been... Um, I don't know. I've always loved, um, primitive stuff. I've always loved country. I love everything. That's the problem. I love everything. Um, but lately I've really taken a liking to <laughs> anything vintage. I've always liked anything old, but I've never really given much thought to whether it was vintage or antique or not, if that makes sense. But, um, you know, vintage decorating is actually a thing. And it's such a wonderful hobby. You know, the thrill of the hunt. Um, so, I've, I've been, I'm not going to lie, I've been struggling with my decorating lately. Because I feel like I don't have a style, per se. I just kind of do whatever makes me happy. And... I can't really say that I'm farmhouse decor. I can't really say that I'm primitive decor. I can't, I don't fit in anywhere. And I think that that bothers me. <laughs> and I say think because I really don't know if it bothers me or not. I don't know. And I think I'm overthinking it really. But anyway, I would love to have more vintage pieces and collect vintage things because of the feeling that I get when I see it. And I think it goes back to, sadly so, the fact that a lot of the stuff that I see in these, um, 
and these YouTubers that exclusively decorate with primarily vintage pieces and their channels are all about finding these vintage pieces. I think that that just um, resonates with me because of getting rid of all of the things that belong to my mom. And I did, you know, like I said, when you're, when you're 19 and you're grieving a loss like that, it's, um, it's, you, there's no explanation as to why you do what you do. You just do what you do in that moment. And you don't really think about the consequences of it until years later. And now I wish I would have kept all of those things because she had an amazing collection. And back then, some of those things were not exactly vintage. They were just pieces that she loved and things that she decorated our home with growing up. And oh, how I would give anything to have all of that back. So slowly but surely, I am finding those pieces that spark that for me. And, um, and so I think I'm on a new little bit of a journey moving forward into the new year, not just with me being like my, my self-care journey, but this is part of my self-care journey because I want to fill my home with things that spark joy. I want to have all of that the feeling of security and comfort and you know how they have comfort food, chicken and dumplings, you know, gravy and biscuits, um, you know, the comfort foods. Well, there's comfort decor <laughs> and vintage is comfort decor and I need a little bit of vintage in my life. <laughs> oh my Lord, I cracked myself up. I'm probably the only one laughing right now. <laughs> None of you are laughing if you're even still watching at this point. Alrighty, the only other thing that I was going to craft today, then time got away from me. I may work on it or piddle on it a little bit later, but I have those frames that I wanna put, um, I just brought this up from the basement. I don't think I'm using it. So I had this bag. I think I showed this before. I was gonna, th I was thinking about using it up in my, um, my beauty room, we'll call it. And I have all these, like I said, I have all these frames, um, but, and scrapbook paper. Look at this guy. I need to glue his pages back down. I meant to do that while I was down there, but what I thought to do, I might have a glue stick up here in my junk drawer. What I thought I would try to do is actually use him with some greenery in a cloche. We'll see. I'm playing, guys. I'm just playing. This is how this is how my mind works. So, but this was what I wanted to show you specifically. So I took this and I framed it. Alrighty, there it is. And yeah, you can see, you know, if, if Art will notice, because Art is that type of a person, he will notice this, but I'm not gonna pay attention to it. It's just for Christmas, and I just love the way that it looks, and it's okay. I mean, I could, um, I could find some wrapping paper that I could wrap around it as a background and maybe next year I'll do that or maybe later this year I'll do that. But for right now, for today, this is okay with me. I'm okay with it and I think it's stinking cute. I just love it. I took this picture down um, and put that one up. Now, remember this is a matching pair. So the little boy that goes with this, they don't, you don't buy them together. <laughs> but they are kind of a set. They do they do go together. But the boy that matches it is over here. And what I did was turn it on its side and I just temporarily put this beautiful picture that should have been framed. I bought the print, but I didn't have a frame for it. Um, so I put it, I put it here. I just used some painter's tape and there you have it. And I was looking for another vintage print that I could use. And then I was going to look for some frames that I could actually frame it in 
but I was in a hurry. You know how it goes. So I, I was winging it and I wanted to finish this vignette and have it look more like a postcard kind of look and feel or whatever. So I think this print goes really well with this desk vibe. So I just kind of left it there like that. But that is actually the other, the little boy to that painting that I just took down. So my little guy did not fit in the cloche. He is too tall. So I stuck him in one of my um, silver cups and put some greenery around him and there he is. And all of his little glory. Isn't he cute? I just love him. I think he's adorable. And that's that. Alrighty, it is almost five o'clock. Art's back from the gym. The repair guy came. He, um, it's just the thermostat. So we're having the thermostat replaced. It's not gonna cost us anything at all. So that is perfect. Um, they're gonna, they have to order it. So they will be back Monday to install the new one. And the only thing is, is they did warn us that since this one is like over 20 some years old, they're going to have to, the one that's gonna go there is not gonna fit as well as this one. So there is gonna be some repair that needs to be done, some repainting. But hey, I wanted to repaint the kitchen anyway, so we'll get that done in the spring. I'm not too bothered about it at this point. As long as we have heat and an upgraded thermostat, I'm good. All right, so Maggie, you wanna do your advent? You wanna do your advent? Let's go do it, come on. All right, Maggie, we're gonna get day eight. Yay, look at that, good job. It has been a long day. So I actually have the a good bit of this puzzle done now. I almost have the whole border done. So all I have to do is figure out this top and then the border will be complete and I can start filling in. I never thought I'd get to this point. I'm proud of myself. So that is going to do it for today's vlog. I'm actually gonna edit it and get it up early so that I can relax and we can enjoy the evening and cuddle up and not move because <laughs> it's gonna get cold. Um, tomorrow we have the Chimers concert. Art and I have some shopping to do. We'll take you along for uh, all of that tomorrow and I will see you then. Have a good evening, bye. It's home.